Hello, this is a case of laparoscopic repair of umbilical hernia. This patient has 4 cm large umbilical hernia in the umbilicus and there is a lot of momentum which is adhered there. We have seen the bobble component and there is no any dilated bobble loop and uh, it is very simple because momentum once it is there you have to push the momentum and try to reduce it although it is already incarcerated. So slowly the reduction of the content of the sac is required. You can take a small sponge on the left hand and try to press it down with the finger and gentle blunt dissection can be performed. If it is required with the harmonic you can dissect some of the momentum also so that once the neck is released after that the remaining fat will come out. Any of the com component of the momentum should not be left inside during performing the any ventral hernia. So it is better to remove each and every component. Although the natural fat of the peritoneum can be left there. But content, any external content should not be inside the sac. So this is the slow dissection and slowly the entire sac is separated. This is little dissection because sometimes it is so adhered that it will not come. So in those situations either you can use bipolar with the seizures or you can use harmonic to separate it. Laparoscopic repair of ventral hernia is gold standard nowadays because it has less chances of recurrence. The care should be taken, the size of the mesh should be the adequate and uh, it should be 12 plus defect. If defect is 4 cm, better to keep the size of the mesh 16 by 16. So that 12 plus defect and the center of the mesh should must be in the center of the defect. So now slowly all the momentum is separated. And now the content you can see it is completely out. After that we have used here polyurethane mesh. That is a dual mesh. And there is a Gore-Tex tad on the four corner of this polyurethane. It has two colors. One is white. White color should be towards the abdominal wall. And the blue color should be towards the bowel. White color is a polypropylene component. And the blue is the polyurethane which is supposed to be not adherent to the and it will decrease the chances of adhesion. Although the, any big trial on the human has not been confirmed that how much these costly may help. But you have to give the choice to the patient and generally we prefer to have a composite mess. Uh, there are biological messes also but uh, synthetic uh, coated messes are more preferred because they are more allergic to this more uh, stable and less allergic to the human body. Now all the four corners is nicely stretched and uh, there is no any corrugation which should be left there. The suture comes from the same skin prick but the rectus it is pricking at the different level. So once you will tie the knot, the knot go per just subcutaneously. And now we are using the protac to do the outer and inner crowning. Protac is a implant that is made up of titanium and that can fix the mess all around. And uh, one uh, circle should be the outer crowning and another should be the inner crowning. Purpose of this is that it will stabilize the mess by the time fibrosis happens and the mess will be covered by the peritoneum again. It should must be opposed by the left hand from above so that while you are firing it the abdominal wall should come perpendicular to the tip of the protac so that it can go deeper although it doesn't come up to the skin. We should take care that we should not fire the protac at the level where actually the defect is there. It should be fired all over taking care of inferior epigastric vessel also because sometime if you will fire it over the inferior epigastric vessel then bleeding is started. So we can see here these are the two medial umbilical ligament which is visible. And you can apply on either side but don't go very lateral to the medial umbilical ligament because it will be inferior epigastric vessel. So you can remain medial to the inferior or lateral to the inferior epigastric vessel. Now we are doing the inner crowning. In the inner crowning care should be taken that tacker should not be fired over the defect directly. Because at the level where the defect is there only bare skin is there which is very thin. And it can prick the skin and if it comes out there is an increased chances of infection. 
so on the margin of the defect you should fire the tackers so that it will not uh, come out from the skin so now it is almost fire all around you can again check it and if it is required couple of more can be fired so thank you very much for watching this video this was just a simple case of the laparoscopic repair of umbilical hernia